We were fortunate enough today to have a visit from the House Science Committee. Several con congressmen came and toured Fermilab. By the way, my first trip to Fermi, and so uh, we understand this, this accelerator research that they're doing, uh, the neutrino beam research that they're doing is unbelievable. So uh, when we look at the kind of processes that they're developing, we want to be the world leader. It helps in so many different directions that uh, we're, we're impressed. These road trips that we take as member of the science committees to go out and look at the national labs, to look at the various things under the jurisdiction of the committee are important. There's so much stuff going on in the scientific community, so much stuff going on in the national labs. Fermi being a classic example of that, but it's all state of the art. These are some of the most brilliant people I've been around. It's a good use of taxpayer dollars, and that's why I'm here today, is to learn why and what and how we're doing, so I can explain to my constituents back home why these fundamental investments need to be made for our country, our world's future. We want to stay international leaders as so far as science and technology, and this really sets a, a great foundation and a base, so when the 17 labs working together, that allows us to build on that and, and, and be the number one uh, innovative uh, scientific discovery uh, country in the world and that's where we want to be and that's where we need to be uh, both for national security as well as economics but also for pure science purposes. Corporate America is focused on a practical application of scientific research but sometimes you've got to do the pure research to be able to create the opportunities on the practical side uh, that's what the National Labs are all about. They're doing things that no individual or no corporation, no company could afford to do. They're looking with a timeline and a time frame enough years, sometimes decades, or farther down the road that, uh, that private investors can't do that. Superconducting RF is uh, obviously has lots of potential applications. Uh, just the idea that you can have a much more efficient particle accelerator opens up a lot of uh, possibilities, uh, more compact accelerators. The Department of Energy runs 17 of these cutting-edge scientific labs that, that actually propel our industry as well as our defense and, frankly, our, our, our universities. Uh, we need to be on the front end of material science, uh, of, uh, of physics, and, and, of course, chemistry and magnetism. Uh, these, are, these are very, very important facilities to keep America at the front of the, front of the world. And, by the way, it's a huge amount of fun to be smart about these things. If we don't continue to spend the resources and make the investments to continue to develop the kind of facilities we have, like the National Labs, then we won't be a part of the leading group. We'll fall behind. And in a world where technology is an ever more important driving part of the economy, which is everyone's livelihood, we don't want to be a second-class nation. That's why we make the investments. That's why the Science Committee is here to see what's going on with our investments so we can continue to be a first-rate nation with a first-rate economy, and that requires a first-rate scientific endeavor.